What up, what up, Wheatfield? What up, y'all? It's Wheat, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. This is your girl, Lati, here at Here's the Week Tour Show, where you show enough, never know what you're gonna get. Don't click off, beloved. Stay. It's gonna be a message. It's gonna be good. Um, We gotta get the grease cooking first, though. It's like that old school Crisco. Y'all know how it go. We gotta get out the can and get into the pan and get things heat it up. The most high God, the Alpha and Omega come in and heat things up. And again, we get to cooking. What we cooking, we just don't know about it. We don't. Um, patience. Have a little patience. Let this thing get brewed up. Let it get hot. You know, don't click off again. Stick around. Stick around. And see if you like what we got, what we bringing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all. Have y'all been feeling like a downturn in energy? We definitely been feeling it. We seeing contentment. We see divine timing. Be content with divine timing. <laughs> and that's what I'm being told. Intention. Yes. So we definitely been feeling the downturn in the energy. Um, and it happens periodically. Feeling like we being constrained, being pulled back while the most high God is gathering energy or the situ is allowing the situation to gain energy momentum. So if you feel like you're being held back, held back, things are not, uh, it's an ebb and flow, right? If things don't feel like they're pressing or moving forward, feel like you're being, you're going backwards, um, know that it's the ebb and flow of progress. Trust the process, beloved. And in these down spaces or the ebb, ebb being pulled back instead of flowing forward, right? Um, it's easy to I'm seeing the word doubt self or doubt the purpose, doubt the track, doubt what you're doing want to step in and change something and that's what we're feeling like we've been feeling the energy of like going live, should we do live should, would that help us boost some energy, change the trajectory or bring something new, inject something new into the channel, you know, that's what we've been feeling like to do, but we really are not like, we have done lives before, we used to do them on Facebook, you know, every so often, but we definitely keep up with like some of our community members who go live, and we can see, you know, how that injects energy into the channel, and things like that. But it's something about the energy of being live here that just don't feel right for us. It don't. Not that we don't like to interact because we do, but it's something about being distracted by energies coming in and out of the space. And it feels like it interferes with the reading or what I'm picking up, I say. It like feels scattered and all over the place, like back and forth, I'm feeling. The in and out, you know, energies interchanging, something like that. Relating, yeah. Comparison, others' projection, self-reliance. Definitely a comparison, like looking at, you know, how other people's, you know, uh, platform has that injection of energy because of doing lives and things. And if seeing it, wondered if that would be a good fit for us, for loving it, we just don't feel it. So we, I think we may have gone live like once or twice. And I think the second time is because we had got a really nasty comment. And it was like, you know, this is something we're gonna talk about on a live, gosh darn it. Inner darkness, hold space, knowing we see patterns release versus being fed it is a darkness to release you know like that shadow energy to be confident trust the process know that the most high god has everything well at hand beloved i mean yeah expression you know how we express ourselves is different from the way that other tarot readers express and that's a that's a good thing like we are ourselves our whole we self and we don't purport to try to be like anybody else we just don't like um as a fairly new reader like an established channel um you may see others that you would want to have like in terms of mentorship learning the specifics of something but we've always had the gift 
the gift is not anything new. But we're discovering parts of the gift that we never knew, right? We did not know um, mediumship. We knew clear cognizant, clairvoyance, like the ability to know, the ability to see, because we could always see time. And we just knew things like, like we were talking about, th thinking about that today. Like we we're riding in traffic and it was a game that we used to play when we were young to kind of figure out like to um, like target in on a car and figure out what they were going to do before they did it. Like to see it and then see how many times we were right. But it was like, oh, wow, that's pretty neat. And then I noticed that that's something that I still do. Like I talk to the drivers and the cars and tell them, don't do that. Now see, now uh uh, don't do that. Stay where you at. Stay where you at. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. And then they'll go the other way, or they'll stay there. Or I'll be like, look, see, I see you getting ready to come on over. You gonna come over? You gonna go? You gonna do it? And then they blink or go on, and then they come over. And be like, I knew it. I knew you were gonna do it. Intimacy. It says, discover something. To discover your voice and your needs. And also, we see the sun, we see shine, we see light, passion, illumination, motivation, don't dim yourself. And I'm hearing don't dim yourself to fit in. You know what I mean? Like, don't dim yourself to fit in. Don't try to do things in comparison to be like others. You know, you being yourself, being uniquely different, unapologetically is going to be the thing that sets you apart, we. And we take that edification onto self. We thank the Most High God, the Alpha and Omega, for, you know, continuing to drive home that message and teach us that lesson. Because it's all for learning. Choice. Everybody got choices. See community. Raise your vibration and everything is done in divine timing. Taking control of self, mastering inner authority. We also see inner child here. You know, I feel divine timing, of course, trust trust the universe to let it flow. Follow the flow. Be patient. And we see don't dim it. Dim, we see light and passion. And then I thought we also saw something else that said divine timing. Maybe it was in this deck right here, divine timing came out. Raise your vibration. Raise your frequency. Connect to your light. Release any blocks of negativity. I feel strength in yourself. Um, I feel safety, like you're safe. Um, and again, trust in the process and releasing negativity, releasing any doubt that it's going to happen. We like even when you, if you are a business owner or entrepreneur, um, things going to ebb and flow like the stock market. Stock market. It's going to go up and it's going to go down. It's going to go up and it's going to go down. Like, every month, it's not going to be the same. You may run into a couple months where things are kind of like in the toilet, and then it might be this month, and the next month is up, and the next month. And then. But I feel like the overall trajectory is still up, right? Um, we think about self, because, again, testimony to Tarot, right? It's a differently different Tarot show. So, yeah. Um, when we first started out... August of 2022, so this this year would be two years. Um, man, it was like we were the first person to watch the video. It was like sometimes it would be me and my mom, and then my stepmom. You know, it'd be like us three. <laughs> now, you know, by the time I watch it, we may have two, three views of people have already watched it. Maybe 30. It depends. Right. And for us, that's definitely a success. It's a move forward. It's huge because for one, we're not the first one to watch it. We may have a couple thumbs up, you know, um, comments, all of that, you know, and knowing that the message reaches, you know, individuals who find the messages helpful, then that's successful. I mean, even if it was just that one, you know what I mean? To me, that's success because, Every message is not supposed to resonate with everyone. They they are not. A lot of messages are unique 
and specific um, to just a handful of weed and sometimes maybe just that one. And if it's like how many billions of people on the plane and that message finds that one person that the Most High God is speaking to, man, that's a miraculous, beloved. And it's more than enough to make us be like, oh yeah, we're going to see it through. We're going to push through. Um, push through the ups and the downs because we know what the purpose is. The purpose is to be influential. Um, I struggle with affluent, right? Um, because I'm hearing thief in the night, you know, like stealth, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to have everybody see us coming, but it's something about getting the messages out. You know, I hear a buzz, I hear a humming, you know, raise vibration, your frequency, come into alignment because what we desire also desires me. It desires you, we, what you want. You resonate on that frequency. You feel it from a heart space and know that you are accomplishing it no matter what you see, beloved, right? So when you see the ebb and you don't feel the flow, you feel like it's a retraction, you feel like it's a detractor or like it's closing up or um, something is shrinking, you're being pulled back you're being diminished in some sort of way or business is diminishing or your return is diminishing. <laughs> yeah. Know that something is happening. And that's so odd. I've been noticing that birth is happening depending on certain things that I say. And it's another channel messenger that does the same. And I have never really had that kind of thing like in terms of affirmation. So... It could be something that's relative to them specifically because that birth is coming in. Because I usually, again, if it's something that they really want me to tone into, they'll pull my ear. We scribe, you know what I mean? Um, we can see, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just like, hear, clear audience, you know, um, mediumship. A lot of different gifts, beloved. And I feel like we're in a community, you know, of many others that have multiple gifts too. And it's a choice with how we use them and how we seek success to not get discouraged. Like, I definitely don't do this work because we feel like it's going to pay dividends. We don't. The payment that we get is in terms of the... The comments, the feedback, to know that it reached the person that it was supposed to reach. Like, its purpose was met, you know. I read another person's comment saying that they don't, you're not paying for the gift, you're paying for the time and energy spent, which is a thing because we um, have done plenty of personal readings, you know, especially on the Owl app where. People can spend time with you and spend time and spend time and they purchase more time and you could read a person for up to an hour and that's a lot of energy. When we do readings and we um, do our messages and they're hours, two hours long, it's a lot of energy to receive. I mean, we are always in the flow. We're talking to the most I got all the time. But to do this and to stay focused and to make sure that the message is coming out with truth and clarity takes a lot of energy. Be true to yourself, we. Be true to yourself. You know, a lot of the messages that come across this channel is um, for people who are called to message, right? People that, who have been through the trials and tribulations of the chosen and solitude. You may feel alone, right? You may feel like you're in hermit energy or nobody really understands you. They don't understand your transition, what you're going through, especially for people who have had a more traditional upbringing. You know what I mean? It's a transition to go away from religion and a specific doctrine to a spiritual journey let alone discover that you're chosen or that you have you have a specific mission you've chosen choices to complete it to step forward in it and then 
you know, feel like, okay, what am I doing now, beloved? We see Libra come into balance. Diplomatic, intelligent, social. Libras are all about balance. Represented by the scales and ruled by Venus. They prefer steady relationships that are full of shared experiences. We see planetary nodes. The nodes of destiny or lunar nodes, right? Um, are two points in the birth chart determined by mapping the relationship between the sun's orbit and the, the moon's orbit and the sun's path through the zodiac. The nodes of destiny, the south node and north node, changes signs every year and a half. The location of the south node represents our past life karma and the things we need to let go of so we can evolve. The location of the North Node, also called our True Node, shows our purpose and destiny in this lifetime, what we want to accomplish and achieve. And somebody's North Node could be in Libra, so they their life track, their life path could be all about balance, balancing self, balancing relationships, balancing 360 all the way around, beloved, and I really feel that. Saturn and in conjunct, in conjunct, okay, it's something here, you want this, Hygia, you want anything else, no, this, in conjunct, we see this minor aspect is also known as a quincune is found when planets or other astrological points are 150 degrees apart from each other. In conjunct aspects create tension and difficulty between these celestial bodies. They don't just get each other. This may, they just don't get each other. This may lead you to compartmentalize or separate these different energies in your life so that they aren't at constant eyes with one another. See, separatism or compartmentalism, in my opinion, is very different from balance, beloved. It is not the same of understanding cohesion or cohesiveness, integration, or just balancing out everything being on one level plane, linear. Um, I'm hearing coming to balance. I'm hearing good and bad. I'm hearing shadow and light energy. It says, named Hygia. We saw in conjunct and we see Hygia. Hygia is named for the Greek goddess of health. Health, balancing something out with your health. This asteroid is associated with mental and physical health, right? It says Hygia can indi indicate our relationship with sleep hygiene, nutrition, exercise, and holistic wellness practices. And that's funny because we were talking about this with another beloved about um, we had been in a phase of life where we we tried vegetarianism, you know, um, or I don't think we ever went full vegan because we like cheese and we like uh, some dairy products, like we do eat eggs and we eat cheese and we eat cream, you know, we don't drink cow's milk, y'all. I think that's disgusting, but that's just us. Um, but we definitely quit, quit eating things that uh, walked on the land for a long time. We ate things that came out of the water. We ate fish, so we were pescatarian. And uh, we were pretty good with that until we started having some, ouch, is that what you were going to say? We were starting to have some health issues um, where we weren't getting enough uh, vitamin B, right? And we just didn't have enough education on how to eat properly as a pescatarian. We were eating way too many carbs, you know, things to try to make us feel full. Um, but we've been getting the inkling to kind of go back to that. But, well, in between that and them, we, with the um, not getting enough, like, vitamin B12, I think it is B12 or B6, one of them that's created in the small intestines. So we started that had a craving for chicken wings for some of us, like insane craving for chicken wings. And we went from a place where cooked meat smelled rancid to us. It was like, this shit stinks. 
But then it was like almost becoming ravenous. Like, I need to eat this. And from that point, we just came carni carnivorous. Like, we still don't eat pork, but we definitely still, we eat beef and we eat chicken and lamb. Love lamb. That's my job. You know what I mean? But that's basically the big three. Beef, chicken, and lamb. And still fish, seafood, right? But we've been feeling the need to kind of go back or a time to either fast or refrain or work our way back down into a vegetarianism lifestyle and gaining more education on how to do that and be well and healthy and balanced as we do it. Um, and we actually have people in our life who are on that track where we can talk to and get some mentorship and advice. I feel something. You want this, this, and this. See, Libra in opposition, in conjunct opposition is off balance. Something is very off balance, right? And I feel like, again, opposition aspect can add a push and pull vibe to your chart. And I feel, again, that ebb and flow, right? Opposition, push and pull. It says this major aspect occurs when planets or other points of astrological significance are 180 degrees apart. In other words, they are across the zodiac from each other, across the spectrum, your light, your dark, your, your positive, negative, like kind of vibe thing. I'm feeling positive, negative. I'm feeling shadow, light. It's something like that. I don't know. It's something that's about being linear, about being balanced, about bringing everything to par, beloved. When celestial bodies oppose each other in this way, it can be challenging to deal with their polar opposite, dealing with your polar opposite energy. But with awareness and effort, you can work with this aspect to create a balanced Libra, balanced harmony, and healthy tension, health, healthy tension, hygiene. See how that is down here? You can work with this aspect to create a balanced harmony and healthy, what is it? Healthy tension that can be harnessed for good. You can actually harness it for good. We see Uranus. Uranus, the great awakener. Sometimes called the Great Awakener, it brings the drama, right? Drama. It is associated with unexpected change, innovation, discovery, liberation, freedom. I feel something breaking. I was going to say breaking through, but most I said no. That's not what they wanted me to say. It says, and structural transformation can cause a lot of upheaval, personally, politically, systemically, and generationally. Something that's going to be an upheaval, like ripping up roots, I feel. It's going to be an unexpected change. There's, uh, You may be doing something that's innovative, something different, again. Um, but I, feel, I do feel liberation. I feel something very freeing, right? But it's going to take... Um, an awakening and I feel like anything that's new innovation um, something um, that hasn't been seen before I feel molding like you have to kind of mold it like clay I feel like it's being I'm hearing pliable I'm feeling flexible be flexible right because it's going to be ups and downs and it's going to take time divine timing for people to kind of start to grab hold and start to eat at it nibble at it or accept it receive it like want to eat from that plate you think about change adaptation or people um being willing and open to change right 24 15 when we said that that six and six is another representation of balance but it's just different right two and four and one and five so one could be experiencing change and conflict and the other two could be ready to enter into new partnerships that cause them to adapt and that's kind of like uh what i was going in terms of early adapters innovators people who are on the forefront of change and then we had people who are like midway where they will 
come along and there is change agents, people who've pushed the change. There are early adapters, people who will jump on and be like, oh, that look cool, let me get into it, right? And then there's others who will come along after they see what the temperature is like. Let me see how it fair out for y'all. And if it's good, then yeah, we'll jump on into it too because you know what I'm saying. We might be late, but we in there, I say. And then there's some who just ain't gonna change. They just not. They like, nope. I am stuck to, I'm stuck to, I'm stuck to my, everybody got choices. We've been seeing that, right? It's the opposite. So you got people who are going to be change agents and push change forward. And then there's going to be those who decide that they will not change. They will be stubborn. They will be, have like that reprobate mind. They refuse to change, beloved. And it says Uranus changes zodiac signs approximately every every seven years. So depending on what you're doing, it could take anywhere from one to seven years to see the fullness of it, like the rightness. I'm feeling like for people to have an appetite for it, you know what I mean? Like what you're putting out, what you're presenting. I'm feeling the apple, like people to bite it, to eat it. And I'm feeling like seven years, I'm feeling seven pentacles, right? Like how you have to work at something and you feel like you're toiling. And sometimes you can get downtrodden and you can get into that uh, place where like, is it going to happen, right? Am I going to harvest this? But I'm feeling like moving from the seven to the eight where you stay committed and dedicated to that thing, perfecting it, working it, working it, working it till you got it down to a science, beloved. And then there go the nine where that harvest comes in. So I definitely feel the energy of seven. But if you have been past seven years, don't give up. Try, trust the process. I feel like don't give up. I'm here, uh, Ty Tribute, with you so in tears. With you so in tears, you watered it, it will grow. It's something like that. With you so in tears, what you water will grow. So even if you feel weary because you've been working this thing for a minute, you could be in it. And, I mean, you may not even be anywhere near your seven years and you feeling it, beloved. Like, you feeling them ebbs and flows. You feeling the constriction. You like, when is it going to grow? I saw 27, 23. That's nine and five, right? The change. Or, like, um, you may be feeling some regret, some remorse. You may be feeling um, the competition because we saw competition like the competition of it like i want these wishes to be filled or i have some anxiety and some stress with the nine of swords energy and i really want this to come about i want to change the dynamic of things how do i get into the competition of it am i comparing myself to others could it be and just 22803 stick with it it's Nothing lasts forever, beloved. If you stay dedicated, you're going to get that Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy. Yes, you might have some heartache, you know, Three of Swords energy, but I feel the Three of Cups, like toasting it up, celebrating with your, you know, like-minded individuals once you get to the end of all of it. Anything else in here? You want to keep this out, this one? Definitely a journey, y'all. It's a journey. You know, and sometimes it can get, you know, tough. You have to, you don't have to do a fuck shit thing. You just don't. We, you can do what you want to do. You don't, you feel like you've been working that thing too long and it's just not working out for you. I mean, do what you do. Speak to your spirit. Meditate, beloved. See what the most high God drops down on you. But I feel like somebody has been called and it's been decreed for that thing to be successful for you to see victory and you see victory in this lifetime beloved like it's coming in soon and i feel like um the most high god wants you to hold on know that you may be working seven years you're gonna see that growth stay with it dedicated 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 like working that thing and get it perfected like down to a science like i'm talking about every detail is like that 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 
and you gonna harvest nine of pentacles and before you know it you're gonna see legacy you're gonna see something that you could pass down and you could leave through your lineage i also feel like what you're gonna do is healing <laughs> balance Boom. The most high God ain't playing when it comes through like that. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing on to your girl. We, everything is in the God box. It ain't nothing on to us. Creation belongs to the most high God. And it can use what it wanna. Everything is being used for the most high God's purpose. Whether it's on that end of the spectrum or all the way on now. When creation belongs to the most high God that made it the beginning and the ending. Everything in between. Everything that exists, we... Surrender. Surrendering all things unto the Most High God. Releasing control. I'm not in control anyway. The Most High God got everything under control. And we said that already. I say my up. Uh, the Most High God said it. I say. The Most High God, because it ain't us. It's just not. It is not. We surrender everything. Everything that y'all see in existence in creation, depending on, I mean, whether you, however you believe, but the Most High God made all things. All things. Peace. That's something we should be able to agree on. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. And we read that. Releasing negative energy. You know what I mean? Like to let it go. Let go of the doubt. Let go of the fear. Let go of control on how you see it get here. How it's manifested. Let the most high God do his work. Everything in divine timing. It may use a little chaos and conflict and competition to bring the best out of you, beloved, to develop you in such a way where that victory is going to come in. I say, like, it's going to meet. I feel meet in the middle. Like, it's going to be balanced. Gratitude. Do it have some gratitude on how the Most High God brought all of this together. Like, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. It presents you the opportunity to reach towards your true north, to your north node. And for somebody that's Libra, that is balanced. And you definitely could be dealing with the energy of your opposite, your south node energy, right? And how do you balance it in this lifetime right now, beloved? You know, for instance, you know, um... So my North Node happens to be Libra. My South Node is Taurus. And right now, I'm a Cancer. You know, that's my sun sign if we are not looking at Ophiuchus. And I don't even think when we factor in Ophiuchus, if my sun sign changes. I think I would still be a Cancer, just not in the same range. I might have some Gemini influence or something like that. We see success. Again, success is destined. Victory is destined. It's a part of your decree. It's coming in, beloved. Trust the process and don't give up on the Most High God. Trust in divine timing. We see death. You might be challenged by things ending. You know, this could be the thing that's going on. We see lighting up a little bit, you know, but things ending could be something that you want to hold on to, clutch to, I'm feeling four of pentacles, like a need to control how things end, how things begin, the whole transition, the whole transformation, I feel. And then it's something about indecision. You may not even understand None of us do, for the most part, and understand how the most high God minds works. The intelligence of the infinite, nobody really, I mean, we can't even comprehend it. I mean, like, absolutely not. We still eating Gerber, beloved. I mean, our texts, all of, all of them are only relative to earth. And our perspective from this point, that's it. I mean, but how much more is it? I use my intuition in all aspects of life. This definitely says using your intuition, like tapping into your spiritual gifts. I'm feeling clairvoyance. I'm feeling the ability to see, to visualize. I'm feeling the ability, I'm feeling clear cognizant, the ability to just know, to know and go with the flow. When the most high God tells you something, you move just like that. Yeah, courage courage to step out. And I believe we read this word as well. We see strength, courage. There's definitely something else over there. 
Thank you to the most high God. Growth. See, the most high God is growing us, using every situation, every conflict to grow us, beloved. And it's all going to happen in divine timing, growing towards success, having courage. I find it in the strength to face my fear with confidence, fear, doubt, resistance, release it, surrender the need to control and make the decision, like to use your intuition to dig into it i feel like the success that's coming is definitely going to bring you a piece a piece beyond our understanding again that's releasing negativity and just letting it go success i know that there's no greater goal than to love to be a light on this voluntary escape to go through the adventure the expedition that is living beloved to move from our south node up to our true north to elevate and in the meantime come to balance to part with it i say balance that hit me in the kingdom anything else in here beloved say no loneliness though we saw solitude and we came right back to that loneliness you want anything in here you want an angel number? No, six is for you. Okay, where would you like to go? This one. Something that you now see. We see eight of cups. We see king of pentacles, king of swords, and four with the hangman. Split on nine of pentacles. See, nine of pentacles. We talked about abundance. Abundance is here. And we see abundance is here. Abundance. You want something in here? this one see this flow with the most high god it say not this i wanted to show you that now we're moving over here we're gonna get this that that i pulled matches this over here you know what i mean like it's it's own syncopation and how the most high god wants to move in your space in your life i'm seeing the dice Somebody may be, I'm seeing risk, like may feel like something is risky, beloved. See perception. You may be in how things end. The death card that we saw in the journey, right? How do you see it? Complacency, you know? Is everything stuck and stagnant? Is not moving? Maybe something's happening. Because even when things die, it's transforming. Things are being broken down. New materials and compounds um, comp are being created, right? Um, energy is never lost. It's merely transformed, right? What ebbs is going to eventually flow. And to know that, to trust that process, that natural process, of transformation to be good with it to be balanced with it knowing that you may use a little shadow you may use the light but be balanced you know consider your intuition what is your vision what is your intention what are you seeing you know what i mean the good releasing the negativity like i feel like it's gonna get things moving again we definitely mentioned grief right grief and being able to move with it, to stay with the process, to stay on the journey, to stay on the quest. You may, look, Libra, split right back on that balance. Stay with it. Even despite what people may say, even if they don't get it, don't let nobody guilt you out of your service and what the Most High God called you to do. Don't do it. You know what I mean? Because when you're working on anything, it's going to take an investment from self. It's going to take, you know, time and effort, right? You're going to have to roll them sleeves up and get on in it. Um, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you know, being the only person that's really sewing in it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. That seven of pentacle type of energy, right? I'm feeling is there something in here? This one? That's, that's three of cups. See, we said at the end of it, somebody was going to be toasting it up. But we see revelry. 
You know, it could be a sense of competition. It could be a sense of comparison. But I feel like celebration, you know, at the end of it. We see a force of nature here and we see emperor, authority. Taking authority. But I feel boss energy. I definitely feel boss energy. And we have balance out here like three times. We see six of cups. Reminiscent. This could be not like the first time you did this. It could be a past life work. And we see five of wands. Again, competition, chaos, conflict, disagreements. We see the world card. You could be somebody. See, this past life issue, disagreement with the world card could be, and we see spiritual enlightenment with the hermit too, right? You could be somebody, again, has a strong passion for, you know, resolving disagreements, past disagreements. Maybe that's something that you did in your life. Seven of Cups, choices are just confusion. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, that's a part of your work. You know what I'm saying? And Five of Pentacles, maybe something has you lost before. Maybe you come back to try it again. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, offering balance, sharing. But it seems like whatever it is, it's sprouted like controversy it's very controversial again anything that's new and innovative or leading people in a different direction or having them think about things differently is always going to feel controversial we but we see justice balance libra energy right you know i feel like it's bringing balance and we see star energy we see creativity Creating something new, creating a different way of thinking about it, creating um, change, adaptation, and being somebody that's on the forefront of it, you know what I mean? And when you're an innovator, you know, um, doing something, you're always on the cutting edge. Like you may be a trendsetter, somebody that does things before it get hot. Or you could have been doing it last year and now everybody is not got hot. They doing it this year. You done moved on to something else. Like you never in trend with everybody else because you are two steps ahead of everybody else. Like you're not doing it when they're doing it. 4211, the magician, emperor, see boss energy, the ability to manifest and create anything. Lovers in the Hierophant. Look at all these major arcanas with the sun energy. I'm talking about success, enlightenment. I'm talking about your belief system. I feel everything coming together. I feel balanced. Your light and your dark. Your ability to use all of your tools. I feel like those ideas, those gears are turning. You're getting downloads straight from the spirit. The lovers could be Gemini energy. You know what I mean? But I feel head over heart and understanding how to make those decisions from the heart, using your heart, filtering everything through the mind. And I feel commitment here as well. Diligence, authority, boss energy. I feel somebody that could be a little strong, a little stubborn, but I feel like that ram, like Aries, like ramming and pushing your way through adversity. Like you're going to get there and it's already destined for success, right? This could even be a Gemini and an Aries. You know, we see Hierophant here. This could be a successful um, high level relationship, like two people coming together to do something in service. This could also be a partnership. It doesn't have to just be marriage or love, but it could be platonic. But I do feel two pe people coming together, soul tribe energy. You could be somebody that is alone, right? Um, we do see people could be talking about it. See, justice is here justice um see this libra energy 
I feel like somebody needs to balance themselves out, like balance, like for real. You could be, you know, resonating with this and have somebody that's in there. That's, I mean, I feel like, again, look at this moon. It's definitely half and half with the light and dark energy. So that's that shadow and that light we've been talking about. But it's somebody that's gossiping, that's in the middle of something. And I feel like it could be a Libra energy. Or it could be the end of something, justice, um, some sort of contract, some sort of business um, association, some sort of legal suit, um, or it could actually be a whole person. I'm feeling person. I'm getting that three of cups again, again, a rivalry. You know, somebody that's in between two different people. But I do feel like, you know, it is whatever you're working on. It's going to manifest, I feel that for self, right? Something's going to break through. Whatever this block is, is going to be balanced out. I feel like it's going to be removed. See, King of Pentacles. You know, security. I feel success. I feel not only a strong business person that's abundant, but, you know, look, Three of Pentacles, collaboration right i feel collaboration are these in the yeah, this is a good partnership over here definitely was feeling a good partnership anything else in here i'm feeling that moon college over there something else we see nine of wands perseverance energy and we saw perseverance in the chakra cards can y'all see that perseverance stand your ground we see king of wands Stepping into that leadership mindset, page of swords energy, somebody that's awakened, somebody that's learning something, somebody that could be on the cutting edge of something, or somebody could actually be watching. But again, we see we see guilt, we see impasse, we see miracle. Somebody is trying to block your miracle. So there is another energy definitely in here. Yeah, yeah, enlightenment, miracle, impasse. Somebody is guilty about something. They could be guilty about what they've said. They could be guilty over how much work they have to do or the fact that they should be, you know, or balancing between their light and dark energies. This person has a halo and this person has a drink. This person feel like they're chained to work with this. I've never noticed this chain on their wrist. This person feel like it, they're chained to work or their head is somewhere else. Um, I definitely feel somebody ha may be struggling with depression or something like that. So if you are and you feel like you need help, please get it. You know, it's definitely opportunities to talk to people about that. Hotlines to call. We've got the soulful truth. We see the world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You are made from love, which we saw that you are love, right? Um, love is success. There's no greater success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. You are made from love. And from love, you are a whole. There's no more hiding. There's no more shame. There's only truth. Live naked and free. And I was feeling freedom, liberation earlier and the most high God just wouldn't let me say it. We were able to say liberation that was written on the card, but um, I couldn't say freedom. It wouldn't let me say freedom because somebody may feel chained in some sort. They may feel chained to the work, right? They may not feel free. They may not even feel liberated. They may feel stuck, you know, at an impasse, of blocked, like being chained. They're not able to move forward. They can't go forward. They, they are ready to break out. They are ready to have this breakthrough. And maybe they're being held up for a reason for this partnership to come in, things being aligned, you know. Burn it all, burn it all, the ugly lies, this gossip, the pain, the shame, the criticism. It could be self-talk as well, but I definitely feel gossip. The images that run through your head, reminders of what you did wrong, guilt, guilt, and the proof that you are not enough. Something is affecting your confidence, something that you feel guilty about, something 
that you are chained to. It's a piece of negativity that's needing to be released. That your the spirit is calling you to release. There's next to root it out, I'm feeling. Pluck it up almost. It says your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. Rebirth. We've seen the death card come out. Completion. Rebirth. We see death. Endings to new beginnings, right? It says you are like the phoenix rising from ashes. From the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them, right? Your wings are ready. Anything else? Okay, we'll put that down. Do you want me to read that? No, nope. okay. Where would you like to go, beloved? Back in here. As you come in, the most of God commands all things. And that's tough because the things that we experience can be like really heavy, beloved. Self love. And we see self care, emotional self care. We mentioned this already. The emotional self care. And we see self love. The spirit brought out self love, right? Self care, self love, self acceptance. Care, compassion, and vulnerability. Vulnerability is strength, and we see sensitivity. Sensitivity. Validation. Validate self. You don't need anybody to validate you. You don't. Vulnerability. Two, that says vulnerability. Vulnerability is strength. And we just literally said that vulnerability is not weakness. Right? Um, vulnerability is strength. Projection. What are you projecting out? You know, release those projections. Um, project wholeness. Project completeness. Project trust. I trust the process. I trust divine timing. I trust that the calling has already been decreed. Like it's written for the me to succeed, be thy will to my will be done. For it is not my will, beloved. It's the will of the most high God. We're getting a light worker out. Somebody is a priestess. See, how are you being called to step up and lead? And I'm going to just pull this into camera, camera view. See this? Leadership. How? And we called out the King of Wands. And look, it's moving to the Ten of Cups. All because of some idea. Y'all see what's up underneath that? That's the Ten of Pentacles. That's what the Most High God has already said. Ten of Pentacles. Accomplishment. But we saw indecision. And look at that. Decisions. Somebody has to choose to move forward with determination. We see Two of Cups. Unity. Two people coming together. Collaboration. We all the things that the Most High God has already said, these cards have just affirmed what was already spoken. Something else you want to get? Page of Wands. Somebody has an innovative idea, right? And you are working it. And look, I see contemplation, but the Four of Cups, and we see Five of Cups, right? Four of Cups, Five of Cups. I'm going to pull this card. Y'all can see it's in the camera view. Five, five of Cups. See, and we see the tower after that. Don't quit. After this five of cup was a ten of swords. Change. Change, beloved. Transformation. Change and transformation. But I feel like the most I got is telling somebody to keep working. Eight of pentacles. Keep working. Don't give up. Don't give up. Leadership. How are you being called to step up and lead? We see 5330. I feel like the infinite, the number eight, the eternal, right? And we see three, collaboration, three of pentacles, working together. But the most high God works in this space. It works everywhere across creation, I say. Break the chain, healing, rewriting the future. See, what you talk about, we see a past six of cups energy. It could be something old, something that um, people could see as controversy, but it's something from past lifetimes, something that 
could even make people feel at a loss, a lack, something. We see do something to change your energy, but I definitely feel this. Answer the call. What are you being called to, to do, we? What are you being called to do? What is your soul calling you to do? Again, the soul truth said, the world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. It's time for you to step out, to be bold, to be courageous, to be vulnerable. That's not a weakness. It takes strength to step out, beloved, to show your whole weak self, every bit of it. You know, as much as the Most High God wants you to show. When the Most High God say, let it go, let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. Right. Because somebody is being a little cold to you, saying some bullshit behind your back. But it's okay. Because they mindset could be out of lack. This, this one, yes. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be healed. I definitely feel solitude, hermit energy, self-care, healing, right? Anything else in here? Shuffle. sisterhood of the rose and we saw that card i think it said community where it was like a group of women together is that still down here maybe not maybe we put it back in here but we saw a group of women a circle of them sisterhood of the rose beauty devotion and again priestess mystic teacher somebody is definitely a high priestess and it's is saying, what are you being called to do? What are you being called to step up and do? How are you being called to step up and lead? Leadership, king of wands, energy. Not, I'm feeling having a grand idea, this ace of wands idea and inspiration. You're being a leader over whatever is it this wand is. And I'm feeling like that magician, like having mastered it. Not only mastering the wand, but the cup, self-care, self-love, right? The coin, king of pentacles, how to invest. And I'm feeling the truth, balance, integrity, ethics, all of it. Protection, call back your power, cut the cords, and look where it fell, right on top of this Libra that's gossiping, that's saying somebody that's talking about you. I feel Libra because the balance has been coming out. We have the Libra card down here as well. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. Community, beloved. This sisterhood of the rose coming in. Do you want this card on the table? Yes. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. But I definitely feel share your voice because the world does not want you to hold back any longer. It wants you to move forward, to push through and be seen, beloved. We see Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. I definitely feel like you have helpers, Ascended Ancestors, Ascended, the Heavenly Host itself that are assigned to you are there to help. But everything is being aligned by the intelligence of the infinite, of the Most High God, beloved. And that is just something we just don't understand, beloved. We don't. We still Gerber with this thing. We still Gerber. See, what is not aligned to your life? It's got to go. Releasing. Releasing negativity. I'm feeling tower moment. Like, the Most High God is uprooting things and plucking some things out. You're going to experience some grief. It's not going to be easy. But, beloved, if it was easy... Everybody would do this week. The Most High God knows who it assigned, who it called forward to complete this task. It knows who it, the decree was given to. And everything that you are going through is preparing you. It's teaching you something. It's uprooting things and plucking it away from you. It is making sure that you have the perseverance, the stamina, the dedication, the commitment to see it through, beloved. Don't give up. Don't doubt yourself with the ebbs and the flows. When it pulls back and detracts, it could be putting you on pause. It could be 
saving you from something, protecting you from something. It could be calling your power back onto you. So when it releases you and you go for it like that force of nature, it's, it's, it ain't nothing going to be able to stop it nothing and then it's gonna be a whole bunch of you know late changers wishing they had got in the game with you earlier oh yeah they gonna be like dang where was you at dang where was this at dang how do i get that dang how do i get into that how do i invest in that how do i sow into that and you're gonna be like please check my web page and you can see the shareholders such and such and such and such and check this out and you know you're not just gonna turn them away oh no because whether they come in early or whether they came in late it don't matter they still came that's the name of the game perseverance long vision 59 59 when we said it 1001 when we looked up when we finished anything else this time reset 10 10 forward and backwards opposite ends of the spectrum I'm hearing ascended ancestors, like your spirit team wants to speak to somebody. Yes. Open up to your spiritual gifts. See, your spirit team wants to talk to you. See them two birds? They come in and say something. You are spiritually gifted. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. And that's why I was saying spiritual messages, whether you are clairvoyant, you can see in, uh, intuition, a vision, a knowingness, like you just know, having secrets revealed onto you, a high priestess, you just kind of know things without knowing how you know it, could have like that prodigy energy, you know what I mean? Like past life something that you brought and you kind of remember it's something that comes to you naturally increase your knowledge we did see the page of swords learning awakening to this thing right it's something about you learning see that could be another part of the pulling back of the energy one and five breaks down to six equals balance we see the scroll and I feel a scroll to book to this tablet. It's something about you being in this day and age. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick a book, find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs for. And we mentioned that even in our own testimony about you doing something new. And you might need to find a mentor, a teacher, somebody to guide you. Pray from the heart. It's here. 23, I feel change, I feel conflict, I feel chaos, I feel competition, I feel comparison. Prayer can really move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. And in the chakra deck, we saw something or somebody that was trying to put up a block, causing impasse to prevent your miracles from coming in. So you can always pray to the Most High God and ask for things to be revealed, to be open, to allow what needs to go, go, and what needs to come, come. Like you are open to allow, I mean, radical acceptance. I'm balanced. I understand that it's not going to be peaches and cream every day, that the Most High God can use chaos and conflict to grow us, beloved. It's almost over. And look at this clock, divine timing, 10310 when we said it. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. I'm feeling that gratitude. You definitely will embrace this magical moment. And I'm definitely feeling less a sword. I feel like it's in there. Truth. I feel that moon illumination. I feel this coin, like something is getting ready to come in. I feel this fountain of flow, like the water, or is this, you know, just like, um, it's going to be happy, overflowing. I feel blessing. You are in a perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Manifesting miracles, we see all the magician, a master, manifester, and we saw somebody trying to block your miracles. 
Most High God saying, call back your power. You are protected. I feel cutting the cords on something, coming to balance, you know, and even having that conversation with self. What is it that you need to see about you? What is it that needs to be revealed, revealed on to me so that I can deal with me? Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. And we also saw the dance with life card. Like, don't be so serious. It's come out. This is the third time. Play. Do something to shift your energy. Your loved ones are safe. Angel of truth, I feel. Your loved ones is safe. We sing, stay the course, beloved. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on what the most I got told you to do. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going, beloved. And prioritize self-care. Self-care is here. Emotional self-care. We saw self-care again come out or self-love. And now we see self-care again. That's the third time affirmation affirming self-care. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. I also feel like the per keep care for self, prioritize self, self care. I see sensitivity, right? Um, be vulnerable. And I feel like ask for your needs. Your needs to be met, right? That's a part of the prayer, heartfelt prayer. I feel. I feel now you could say that somebody will come in to collaborate. Almost like save the day, but it's not saving. It's like, it's what you're going to need in a day in order to take things to the next level. They may even save you from drowning in work and being so serious and giving you the space you need to lighten up, to play again, beloved. The angels are, the angels of healing are with you. And something that doesn't align to your life, we talked about health. We talked about, you know, my journey of, you know, getting back into clean eating. You know, it could be whatever it is. It is for you. We, you take it how it resonates, beloved. But definitely healing. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Except our angel, Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. And trust your angels, beloved. Trust them. They are here to help you. Three and six breaking down to nine. I'm feeling they are here to bring your wishes in. To help you reach success. A successful end. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. We most I literally already said that. To release, like to release the need to control, to surrender it, to know that the most high God has everything well at hand. It will happen. It's been called, it's been decreed. Success is written. We is going to happen. Just don't get in the way and slow down your own velocity by trying to control things. Surrender. Release. Let go of the expectations. Also, when we try to control, we limit options. Seven of Cups. Like we get confused and we get distorted about what to pour into. Could be putting too many, got too many cups and you pouring in too many places. Needing to pull that back, right? I feel, um... I feel like the most high God will perform the work through you, right? And as the work is being performed, to release your control means to open up the flow. It opens up the flow. Because see, when we try to control, we limit the options that are available. 
through the most high God, all things are possible. You never know what is working out. If it's calling back power from this place and from that place and from that place and it's bringing it all on to you, you might be feeling like it's pulled back, but once you power it up, then you can break forward and you never know how much ground you will cover. Like the Phoenix right? So you might just shoot up from the ashes and it just be like this, this phenomenon, right? It, it will almost feel like an overnight success when you know you've been working at it night after night after night with very little rest, right? But when we release control, we allow the Most High God, the infinite intelligence of the Most High God to syncopate, syncopate and synchronate the happenings that need to occur to bring about the success in the best way possible and it can use whatever it wants to use to make it happen anything from the beginning to the ending anything that's on the spectrum anything whether it's chaos and conflict and gossip betrayal lies and deceit destruction and thievery it will use anything because no weapon formed against the wheat shall prosper beloved not when you are already destined for success you are protected no weapon formed shall prosper you are protected you can rest on that your ancestors are hugging you. The spirit guides are hugging you. The most high God is hugging you. You are safe within my bubble of light in the inner sanctuary, in the temple, in the holiest of holies, beloved. Yes, we are safe. We know that we are safe. Come on with this thing. You can proceed with confidence. That's this right here. Leadership. You talking about confidence? Oh, yes, that is, beloved. Ten of cups. So what? Proceed with confidence. Damn. Take control of your thoughts. Surrender negative thoughts. Release negativity. You have the key. Anything else, beloved? Yes. In here? No. Put this way down this way. This, this, this. Archangel Azriel, it's time to let go. Prepare for change. It's time to let go. Prepare for change. Somebody's definitely nourishing something. We see a little baby, something that they are growing, right? It's already manifested. It's already born. It could be an actual child, but I feel in this is business, purpose, a service, something of that effect. To go right along with the testimony that I was led to give, beloved. See, hone your psychic abilities. Somebody is psychic, beloved. I mean, like, it, it's this was the second time that they said it. Open up to your spiritual gifts and hone your psychic abilities. We have noticed that many of the people that come to the channel are people who do have spiritual gifts. And I do know that when we really got underway with utilizing our spiritual gifts and being out in the open with them, really understanding what they were, what we were called to do quasi with them, because I feel like we just scratching the surface. But um, I recognize the need for people to have support right to understand that it's okay that you want this you want this one um it's trans time for transmutation somebody is transforming they're changing like it's okay to transform it's okay to be outside of what most would consider the norm right because if you think about your life journey Right, you probably were never really along with the what they consider normal anyway. We again a transsetter, somebody that could see, somebody that was always slightly ahead of the rest of the week, right? The field or just rest of the sheep, right? Definitely somebody who 
vision and foresight, somebody that's innovative. Again, a trendsetter, right? That you doing it this year because you like, oh, this is my new gig. This is my inspiration. It's inspiring me, you know what I mean? And you doing that thing and ain't nobody else doing it with they doing something else. They doing what you did last season, last year, two years ago. You did it so long ago that folks don't even remember that you already did it, y'all. They may be talking about you thinking that you strange, that you different. Why they always on some different shit? They always on some different look. I mean, like, that shit is just like whatever, beloved, you know. And you like... I ain't trying to do what everybody else do. Who can compete with me? And ain't nobody over here in this space but me. Like, you could be even feel alone. Like, I don't resonate with that. Like, I'm ready. I, I, I'm good with doing me. I'm good with being set aside. Different. Ahead of the class. Like you love to sit in the front, beloved. Like, I'm trying to hear, I'm trying to learn. Cause guess what? I'm gonna take the fuck off off this bitch and I'm gonna, I mean, let it all burn. I don't know, I'm just saying. But I do feel like you ahead of the class, an early innovator, an early changer, or an adapter, a change agent. You're somebody that leads change. You are not with the masses. You are somebody that do it quick, like you snappy, you popping, like you somebody that like grab holds or something to be like, oh, that's interesting. I'm finna roll with that and take that with this and this, that, and the other. Mix up your own shit and go forward. And then before you know it, two, three years later, somebody else then call hold to it and now they think it's hot and then they popularize and then you be like, I did that shit two years ago. I did that two, three years ago. Really? Oh, let me take my old one out the closet because I kept one because it was unique, yo. You know, that kind of energy. Give and receive. Obey spiritual laws. Make sure you obey your You ain't got to do a fuck shit thing, but obeying spiritual laws is important, critically important. If you're a mana manifester, a mana manifester. I'm hearing master manifester. I'm hearing deep in spiritual arts. I'm hearing secrets revealed. Very, you're going to be knowledgeable. Like you are a master at this. You could be a reincarnate master, like ascended and continuing to ascend. And I feel like once you really open up to your gifts and hone your abilities, you will see what I'm saying. Like. Think it's gonna come to you easily, like to be able to see something to set your heart, your attention, and vibrate with that thing. Like, you're gonna call it in, it's gonna almost feel instant. But it's something I'm definitely feeling instincts here. I'm feeling a balance again one is sleep and one is awake. It's something else that needs to be opened up that's going to be open awaken with this awaken card. You're gonna learn something that's gonna awaken another part of you, right? Um, Y'all catch what I'm putting down, what I'm feeling here? Yeah. It's something else that's going to be awakened. And I feel like for you to obey the spiritual laws is going to be important. Like, don't get off into the wrong way, beloved. Enter a higher planetary service. Be a blazing light. Yeah. Definitely a planetary service. Again, you could be, again, I feel a light worker. I feel you could even work energy. You know what I mean? I'm feeling balancing. I'm feeling transmutation. I'm feeling alchemy. Relax and open up to the source. Keep your heart open. But I definitely feel alchemy. I feel even, um, I'm getting earth bending, like the ability to pull elements. I'm getting elemental. Like, you may be able to pull elements out of the ether and kind of transform them to whatever you want, beloved. And it's something about your intention, your heart space, to keep it on a high elevation, a high vibration. That's why the spirit really wants you to cleanse out negativity, because you could be calling in negativity because you have doubt and fear or just the remnants of what other people are saying about you. It's something about... Um, in your ear or 
you may be listening to that. You know what I mean? It could be affecting your energy. Cut the cords, pull back your power, come to balance week. So that you could take leadership to lead yourself in a balanced way, beloved. Balance. We see act with wisdom. Use information for the highest good. Whatever you learn, use it for the highest good. The highest. Remember who you are and take action. Leadership. King of wands. Energy. Action. When you are ready. When you are ready. It's time to let go. Let go of negativity. Prepare for this change. Transmutation. You carry the violet flame. Definitely feel in light worker energy. Definitely feel elements. I'm feeling earth bending. I'm even getting air bending because we saw a lot of air. You know, you could just be a master of all four elements, right? Like the avatar, like Ankh from Avatar, right? And he was going through this journey to learn how to master his energy. And I'm feeling, um, I'm definitely feeling a lot of energy, like like um, that yang energy to be able to maintain the power of the light out of your own hands is what I'm getting. Something about that milk and honey is here. I feel like that's the ultimate. Like you can create it um, just by with your the power of your intention. Like if you see it, if you feel it, you know, just know it, understanding that it is, um, it will just come to you. It, it can come in. But I feel like it's something about the opposite end of the spectrum. Something about the negativity, right? See, deep knowingness. We see or orphan. That's what I was saying. The negativity, that darkness being set out, set aside, kind of left out. Maybe not really sure. Some sort of doubt, some sort of fear, some sort of insecurity is in here. Deep knowingness. That's what I was feeling. Somebody definitely has... A gift of clear cognizance, a, a gift of clairvoyancy, deep knowingness, high priestess energy, see fate, and we see loyal heart, the lovers, the two of cups type of energy. I'm feeling you even coming together with both sides of you, your masculine and your feminine energy, like you know what I mean, to release. To give and receive, right? To release and to receive. You definitely have a destiny, a fate. And I feel like you have a deep knowingness. Even if this loyal heart is somebody that you're going to collaborate with because we saw a union here. Um, you have a knowingness about it. That it's a fated union. You know. See, milk and honey wanted to pop out. We see exchanging gifts, balance, right? And we see observer. Keep your eyes to the sky, beloved. See, look, we one to come out. Soulmates. You definitely have a faded union coming in. Just have faith and wait. Let the most high God do his job. See, you don't need to force anything. You don't need to try to move this boat in any direction. You don't even need to, I mean, you just need to believe, to know, to see, to believe so that you could see it. Know that you are making progress, that the boat is moving, even if you are in a place of non-action. It doesn't feel like it, but it is moving. You can see that it's moving. You are being healed, Pour into you. You can see the energy around the water is moving. It's not sitting still. We see two bubbles here. I feel spirit energy. Right? I feel like spirit guides. It's time to go. The most I got is going to move you when it's time to go. But I also feel that prepare for change. It's time to go. In this space, you are preparing for change. You may have even, nope, that's what the Most High God said. In this space, you are pouring into self, self-care, healing. Because in a minute, it's going to be time to go. And you're going to take off running. You could even be moving towards this 
soulmate. Like the things that's happening could be aligning you up for this meeting to occur, right? Things can't go faster or slower. They need to be right on time, beloved. And this right here, energy, being orphaned, we see regeneration. I'm feeling Phoenix rising, but it's something that needs to be cleaned up. I'm feeling like um, issues within self, health, things that are like a part of your four pillars of abundance. The most I got is rooting things out, cleaning your heart up, cleaning your spirit up, lightening you up. And I'm feeling everything is going to be used for building blocks, continue to build self, using all the things that you learned from the past, all of that energy. Again, I feel it alchemy, being able to pull elements and change them into your building blocks that's going to create your pedestal weed. Like it's going to build a solid foundation. It's going to build the business. It's going to build whatever this service is, whatever you're creating. The most high God is going to deliver every brick, every piece. And just to remember that, to be still, to stay present in the here and now. Not in the past, not in the future. Be present right now. Anything else in here? No, that's the truth. That's the truth. This is all about you. Anything else? Do you want this energy? See? To be fair, come to balance. Balance, balance, balance. I feel like the balance card has nearly come out in every deck he touched. Most high God has pulled it out. It said balance. You want anything else? No. Anything you like to say? Balance your energy. Energy. It's something off with your energy because it's spelled it both ways. I-N-N-E-R, your energy. And also your energy. E-N-E-R-G-Y. But the Y was like off. It's something off with your frequency. It's something off with your vibration. It's too heavy. It's down. Most like God said to... Truth, truth, truth. Most I got said, balance your energy, lighten up, dance with life, lighten your heart space, beloved, lighten it up, release, let things go, purge. It's some things that you need to release to let go of. What is no longer aligned with your life? Trust your path. And we saw, I called it, most I got called it, called it earlier. Um, we read it on one of the cards that says, don't dim. And we said, the most high God said, don't dim to fit in. Don't dim to fit in. You are different. You are called to be an innovator, a change agent, a, a change leader to lead change. And you definitely are going to have a soul family coming in, somebody that's going to work with you. But right now you're awakening. Call in your soul tribe. You won't do it alone. You will not. You are a warrior. Warrior woman. Look at that sword of truth. We mentioned that. The sword of truth. Have you answered your deepest calling? What is calling you? How are you being called to step up and lead, beloved? And in decision, just say yes. Just say yes. Just say it. You know, again, it's your choice, free will, but I feel like you will say yes. You will share your voice. You will come out of the cage. You will express it. And the world is ready for you to do it. Like you are in a space to do it. Call back your power onto you. Heal, rejuvenate. I'm feeling courage. I feel tenacity. I feel perseverance. I feel girded and shielded like you are protected. Your protection is with you. I feel the breastplate. I feel the hammer. Hammer. I know. Helmet. Thank you so much for garbling my words, but it doesn't matter. We're going to get it out anyway. Helmet. Breastplate. Helmet. And I feel 
a sword, beloved. I feel like your spirit guys got your back, so you don't need to turn around and look back. Hands on the plow. Keep moving forward. Keep going forward. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Listen. Listen, beloved. Yes, listen. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Terrace of We Tarot Show. If you made it all the way through the message, beloved, I pray you did. I pray it was edifying. I pray it was good. That um, you feel inspired. You feel ready to go. To be courageous. To be vulnerable. To step into your strength. Call your power back. Breathe, beloved. Woosa. Because if you got that avatar energy where you are a bender and a master, ascended master, return, phoenix, rise, and being able to command the elements, I mean, like, work with them all. I'm just saying, the wine, the coin, the cup, the sword, all of it, air, earth, fire, water, spirit. Ooh. It's giving me frozen two energy, a bridge between heaven and earth, between the manifest and the spirit, a bridge, beloved. Yeah, and that's pretty deep. If you are awakening to that level of gift, support is needed. <laughs> yes, a mentor, a teacher, somebody that help you hone your gifts to get a hold of them, beloved. You know, because even Ong had friends and soul tribe members and needed mentoring. But unfortunately, by the time he was awakened, I think all the elders had been killed. So he went on a journey to kind of learn and discover through all of his experiences. And I feel those building blocks, you know what I mean? Like all the pieces will come together. And not everybody's going to get it. Not everybody is going to be on the forefront of innovation and change, beloved. They're just not. And some people just will downright refuse. And that's okay. Because that's what they were called to do. Thank you. We love you. We love you just like we love us. You know, hashtag made it through. Hashtag avatar. Hashtag psychic. Hashtag spiritual gifts. Hashtag, um, I hear Alpha and Omega. Yes. Hashtag the breath. Yes. Hashtag intelligence. Hashtag we feel we nation. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you feel like putting in there. Just leave me a comment and let me know if it resonates. If it does, great. If it doesn't, you just leave it right there on the plate. Okay? Thank you so much again. We love you just like we love us because we love the Alpha and Omega that made us, that called us to be the infinite intelligence breathing. The word lives in its day. Don't let nobody tell you anything different for next now. This one's done. I'll show you.